Namaste, dear yogis. Welcome to this 15-minute yoga practice to release tight hips. Take a seat with your knees up and plant your feet parallel with each other into the ground. Feet are hip width apart. Place your hands behind you with your fingertips pointing forward. Lean back a little bit and open your chest. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, gently let your knees fall to your right side. Take a moment to notice how it feels. Maybe you need to adjust yourself, make sure you're comfortable and breathe into this gentle stretch. Then inhale, bring your knees back to center. Exhale, let your knees fall to the other side. Again, if you need to adjust your feet or legs, go for it. Notice how it feels on this side. Our bodies are not symmetrical, so maybe one side feels tighter than the other. Allow your breath, especially the exhales, to relax and release any tension. Inhale, bring your knees back up. Now as you exhale, let your knees fall to your right and do a few windshield wipe motions. So keep going, follow your breath, just gently rocking your knees from side to side. It's a really nice gentle stretch. Nice, then bring your knees back to center, sit upright, lengthen out your left leg and flex your left foot. Place your right foot sole against your left inner thigh and gently let your right knee fall open. For Janu Shirsasana, head to knee pose. Check that you're really grounding down through your sitting bones, spin your inner thighs down and away. Sit up tall and place your hands on either side of your left thigh. If you want to take it a step further, you can fold forward, breathe in, lift your arms up, exhale, lengthen your spine, fold forward. Place your hands on the ground on either side of your left leg. Maybe walk yourself a little bit further. So listen to your body and go as far as you can go. Don't push anything. And relax your head down. And remember to keep your left foot flexed. Left toes are pointing upward. And allow your breath, your exhales, to open up your hips. Feel the stretch in your right hip, in your left hamstring and calf. Then as you breathe in, slowly come back up. For a seated twist, plant your right foot into the ground next to your left inner thigh, right knees up. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, rotate your chest to your right. Left arm hugs your right knee. Right hand is right behind your hip on the floor. Keep your spine nice and long and maybe twist a little bit deeper as you exhale. Inhale, slowly come back to center and place your right foot sole again against your left inner thigh for baby wild thing. Plant your right hand behind you. Inhale, circle your left arm forward and back. Lift your hips up, slightly arch your spine. Stretch out your whole front body. Take a deep breath, beautiful and slowly release, sit back down, and then for staff pose, Dandasana, straighten both legs in front of you, flex your feet, and sit up tall, rest your hands beside you, keep your breath flowing and notice how you feel. Good, then slowly release and we'll do the same sequence on the other side. Keep your right leg straight, flex your right foot and place your left foot sole against your right inner thigh. Bending your left knee and let your left knee fall open. Hold it right here, rest your hands wherever is comfortable and notice where you feel stretching and opening sensations. If you feel the invitation to go a little bit deeper Breathe in to lift your arms up, lengthen your spine, breathe out, fold forward, place your hands on the ground, hold it right there or walk a little bit further, relax your head down. 
So wherever you are, make sure that your right foot is flexed and that your breath is flowing. Relax your facial muscles and notice where you feel sensation. Take your final breath and slowly sit upright and take that seated twist pose. Plant your left foot into the ground, left knees up. Breathe in to lift your arms up, exhale, rotate your chest to your left side. Hug your left knee with your right arm and place your left fingertips or left hand on the ground behind your left hip. Keep elongating your spine as you inhale and maybe twist a little bit deeper as you exhale. Relax your eyebrows, unclench your jaw. Take your final breath, then breathe in, come back to center Breathe out for baby wild thing. Place your left foot sole against your right inner thigh. Plant your left hand behind you. Inhale, circle your right arm forward all the way to the back. Lift your pelvis up. Arch your spine. Take a few deep breaths in your baby wild thing, stretching out your whole front body. Slowly release, as you exhale, sit back down. Coming back into Dandasana Staff Pose. Sitting up tall, lengthen out your legs in front of you, spin your inner thighs down and away. And again, take note of how you feel. Notice your hips, your lower back, your legs. Then slowly release, bend your knees, place your foot soles together and gently let your knees fall open for a butterfly pose, Baddha Konasana. You can also make fists and place them under your thighs on the ground to support yourself. So this is an option, stay here, breathe into your hips. Another option is to hold on to your feet or place your fingertips in front of your lower legs on the ground. And if you feel openness in your hips and you can go further, as you breathe out, lengthen your spine, walk your hands forward towards the front of your yoga mat and relax your head down. So remember you have many options. Choose the one that works best for you and your range of motion. Breathe into your hips. Release any tightness or tension each time you exhale. Soften your hips. Beautiful, and then slowly come back up, sit upright. And we'll all press our knees together, use your hands, and give yourself a big hug. Pressing your upper body against your thighs. Take a deep breath. Then for a wide angle seated forward bend. Upa Vishta Konasana. Lengthen out your legs laterally. And flex your feet. So remember, go as far as you can go. Respect your range of motion. Sit up tall. And place your fingertips in front of you on the ground. Hold it right here and breathe into your groin and adductor muscles. Another option is to come forward. As you breathe in, lengthen your spine. As you breathe out, walk your hands a little bit further and rest on your forearms or your hands. Relax your head down. So again, choose the option that works best for your body. Keep your breath flowing. Relax your forehead, your eyelids, unclench your jaw.
Take your final breath. Walk yourself up and then bend one knee, then the other, slowly sit up tall with your knees up. And then for reclined butterfly pose, roll yourself down in a slow and controlled way. Lie down on your back, bend your knees and place your foot soles together for reclined butterfly pose, Supta Baddha Konasana. Allow your knees to fall open by itself. And you can use fists again to place them under your thighs for support. Stay here. Keep your breath flowing. Another option is to place your left hand on your heart space, right hand on your tummy. Notice your breath. Notice the rise and fall of your tummy and chest with every breath. There's no need to push your hips down. Allow it to happen, allow the stretch to do the work for you. Keep focusing on your hips. Notice your lower back. Then begin to deepen your breath. And slowly hug your knees into your chest. Hold on to your knees. And draw a couple of circles towards your right side. Back to center. Imprint your lower back into the ground. Very nice, and in reverse direction. Draw circles towards the other side. Follow your pace. Nice. Knees back to center, and this time, push your knees out and away from each other, and then back together towards your chest. A few more of those. Follow your pace. So remember to keep your lower back pressed into the ground. And then reverse it with your knees together. Push them away from you, back out, and then back in. Continue on your own. There's no right or wrong way to do this, as long as it feels good. It's a really nice way to massage your lower back, your hips. And slowly bring your knees back to center, and then as you inhale, make a little basket. Bring your head up, or your nose towards your knees. Use your core muscles, take a deep breath in, hold, exhale, release, good job. And then we'll finish our practice together. Roll over towards your right side. From there, push yourself up into a seated position. Sit up tall. And take a moment to scan your whole body, especially your hips. Also notice your lower back. Notice the effects of these stretches and poses on your body, on your hips. And then let's finish our practice together. Bring your arms out to the sides with your palms facing up. Breathe in. Circle your arms up and gather all the love, light and blessings. Gather it and bring it into your whole being. As you exhale, unite your palms. Place your hands in prayer position. Acknowledge yourself, your yoga practice, that you took this time to take care of yourself. It's my wish that this practice is a blessing to you, from my heart to yours. Good job, Yogi. I'm so proud of you for making it this far and allowing me to be part of your practice. Thank you so much for watching. And because you're here, I have a free gift for you. 
the blissful morning guide. All you need to do is click the link below this video, enter your first name and email, and I'll send it to you right away. And make sure that you're subscribed to my channel, like this video, share it with your friends and family, and leave me a comment, let me know what your favorite part was. I look forward to seeing you soon again on the mat. Bye.